Shalom, a God, back with another video. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh, Bashem, meaning coming in the name of, and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Today, I want to give a lesson on the will of God. What is the will of God, right, for our life? What is the will of God for us? What must we do to be in compliance with the will of God? So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 1, in the NLT. This is the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect so I just want to highlight something here where it says this is the true way to worship him so there's a true way to worship him right don't copy the behavior and customs of this world because we had our own behaviors and our own customs that we turned our back on right then you will learn to know God's will for you. Then you'll know his will. And what is his will? Which is good and pleasing and perfect. So we know that his will is perfect. So now I just want to turn to the book of Psalms real quick. This is the book of Psalms chapter 19 verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So now, when we come back to Romans chapter 12, it says, Don't copy the behavior and customs of, the, of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. By changing the way you think. Transforming you, changing the way you think. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul converting right changing changing you right and it is pleasing and perfect the law of the lord is perfect converting the soul god transform you into a new person by changing the way you think right all right now now let's turn to the book of john chapter 6 this is the book of John chapter 6 verse 38 for I came down from heaven not to do mine own will but the will of him that sent me and this is Yahweh Shai this is red letter who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ so Yahweh Shai says that he's not here for his own will, but for the will of he who sent him, the Father's will, right? So now, if Yahweh is here to play out his Father's will for his life, who are we to try to live by our own will, right? Let's go to 1 Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Verse 3 to 8. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel, right? Your body, a living sacrifice, in sanctification and honor, not in the lust of con. con Salakia. Concupiscence. <laughs> Concupiscence. 
even as the Gentiles, which know not God. Not as the Gentiles, not as the ways of the world, right? That no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because the that the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also have forewarned you and testified. For God has not called us unto unclean, un, uncleanness, Salakia, but unto holiness. He therefore that despises, despises not man, but God, who has also given unto us his Holy Spirit. So, what I want to point out here is, it says this is, this is the will of God, right? Don't commit fornication. That's one of the laws, right? That's one of the Most High's laws. Then it says, know how to possess his vessel. We just went over um, your body as a living sacrifice, right? Um, not in lust, even as the Gentiles, which know not God, right? Don't try to follow the customs and ways of this world, right? Now, let's move to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 now and verse 18. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you, right? In everything give thanks. Let's turn to the book of Hebrews. It's crazy. The will of God is for you to give thanks in everything, right? Why not? You should give thanks. Uh, the book of Hebrews chapter 13 verses 20 and 21 now the god of peace that brought again from the dead our lord jesus that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant make you perfect in every good work to do his will working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight through jesus christ to whom be glory forever and ever. So it says, make you perfect, right? Make you perfect in every good work to do his will. In every good work, you must be perfect to do the Most High's will. You must be perfect to do the Most High's will. And we already know from Psalm 19 and 7 that the laws of the Lord are perfect converting the soul. So now let's turn to John chapter 7. John chapter 7, verse 17. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. See that? The laws of the Lord are perfect, converting the soul, right? So now, if you're doing the will of the Most High, you're going to be perfect. You're going to be able to understand what doctrine is wrong and what doctrine is right. Because the doctrine that is correct is the, the, the following of the laws of God, right? Now, let's turn to the book of Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. This is the Lord's Prayer. This is Yahweh Shai, by the way, red letter, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, who in a previous scripture said he didn't come uh, to do his own will, but the will of the Father who sent him, right? And now he's praying, showing the brother how to pray. And in the prayer, it says, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. He said, thy will be done. Like he's teaching brothers, it's not about our own will. It's about the most high's will. This is the second time he iterates thy will, right? The most high's will. Now let's turn to the book of James chapter 4.
James chapter 4 and verse 5. Do ye think that the scripture saith in vain? The spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth envy? Wait a minute. Four and five. Salakia. That's something different. Let's go back to the book of Matthew. Salakia, that was something different. Um, let's go back to the book of Matthew chapter 7. 7 and verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father which is in heaven. Right? The will of my Father. Many will say to me, in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works? And when will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Right? See that? But he that doeth the will of my Father. Not everybody that that's Screaming on Yahweh Shah's name is going to make it, right? Not everybody that screams out, Lord, Lord. No, but those that do the will of his Father, right? Let's turn to the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 17. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Be ye wise in understanding what the will of the Lord is. Right? Now let's turn to 1 John. 1 John 2, verse 16 and 17. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, that the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. See that? The world is going to pass away. So you following the ways of the world is going to have you passing away, right? But he that doeth the will of God will abideth forever. Now, I want to get another scripture, and then I'm going to close out with one more. This is First Peter chapter 2 first peter chapter 2 and verse 15 for so is the will of god that with well doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men right the will of god by you doing the will of god you're going to shut a lot of mouths right you're going you're going you're going to show people what it is right so now let's see what the will of god actually is like in its entirety right um, let's go to Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 in the GNT. It says, my child, there is something else. Salakia. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13 in, in the GNT, right? After all this, there is only one thing to say. Have reverence for God. And obey his commands, because this is all that we were created for. This is all that we were created for, to fear God and keep his commandments. This is the only thing we were made for. This is our will, right? Our will is the will of God. This is the will of God for our life, right? Let's read that again. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. After all this, there is only one thing to say. Have reverence for God and obey his commands, because this is all that we were created for. So I hope during the duration of this video, I was able to edify somebody out there, somebody listening. Um... This is the will of God. The will of God is for us to come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments and follow these rules, right? 
so-called blacks, Native American Indians, and Hispanics. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. We are the Hebrews of the Bible, right? And that's it. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That is giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh. By Shem meaning coming in the name of and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Shalom and Mawafla Babal.